So picking a more concrete example uh, inside of this infrastructure chain, if we want to analyze the layers here, you know, I picked that IP example before, which is still present on this example, but what we're looking at is a slightly different perspective now. So in this case, we're starting with a piece of malware. Maybe okay. we found this on our network. It was a, a file that our, one of our antivirus agents hit. And maybe there was a signature running on my machine and it said, hey, this, this file is, is doing something shady. Um, you need to check it out. Well, if we're using the signals that are available to us at layer two, we might have a hard-coded IP address and an SSL certificate that are part of the malware that make it up. Okay. And at layer three, you know, that SSL certificate that was hard-coded in the malware might have a domain associated with it. And in fact, it might have, it might have been hosted on an IP address somewhere that's different than the command and control IP address that we originally discovered in the malware. And then at layer four, that domain that we got from the SSL certificate may in fact be hosting a web page. And that web page might include uh, an analytical tracker like Google Analytics that then gives us more connections or it might have an older SSL certificate associated with it. Or that IP address that we found hosting that SSL certificate might have another domain that we did not see. And so what we're trying to, to impart here with this infrastructure chain concept is that you can build upon all these different layers, these different signals and the connections that they have in order to form new insights and really to break open an investigation. So this might be something where you see one piece of the iceberg, but there's this piece underneath that you don't know about that you need to be aware of so then you can put the defenses in place to prevent uh, future attacks or stop the attack from um, migrating and changing over time. Yeah, I think that's a perfect analogy, the, the iceberg there is where you're maybe seeing the tip of the attack, but in reality, there's much more going on. And, and we're talking about this as if the uh, attack is ongoing. Maybe we're being in a reactive position. Um, but what's important to note here is that this methodology and what we're talking about and chaining to all these different data sets together can actually be applied in a proactive manner, which we'll go into in some of the benefits.